Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be dealing with polynomials and some rational expressions. So we're given that x squared minus 2x is equal to 1, and we're supposed to evaluate x squared plus 1 over x squared. So in these kinds of problems, the answer is supposed to be a constant, and no matter which x value you choose, you should always get the same answer. So that's the idea. I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, and I'm pretty sure there's a third way to do this, and you're going to let me know, right? So we have x squared minus 2x equals 1. I'd like to complete the square. So let's add 1 to both sides. That gives us a perfect square. We can then take the square roots and add 1 to get the solutions. Nice. Now, this is how the quadratic formula works, by the way, by completing the square in the general form. You can prove it. So these are the x values. So which one are we supposed to choose? The answer, it doesn't matter. Let's go with the positive, 1 plus root 2. And now we're going to plug it in, right? How do you plug it in? Well, let's evaluate x squared first. x squared is 1 plus root 2 squared. And that's going to equal 1 plus 2 root 2 plus 2, which is 3 plus 2 root 2. So that's the x squared value, and I do need to evaluate x squared plus 1 over x squared. Therefore, I need to plug it in. 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 2 root 2. Now, these are kind of the reciprocals, and I do need to rationalize the denominator. Let's multiply by the conjugate of 3 plus root 2, which is 3 minus 2 root 2. Did I say 3 plus root 2? 3 plus 2 root 2. Okay. And then when you multiply, you're going to notice the following. 3 plus 2 root 2 is going to stay. The product of these two things is going to be 3 minus 2 root 2. And the product of these two things is going to be 9 minus 8 because it's difference of two squares. Remember that very important formula. And that's going to be 9 minus 8, which is equal to 1. So I don't even have to worry about it, but if you want, you, you can write 1. So we have two terms that cancel out, and x squared plus 1 over x squared becomes 6. Awesome. Great. That's the answer. What would happen if you replace or used 1 minus root 2 instead? Right. Remember, that was one of the solutions. We used the 1 plus root 2, but let's go ahead and use 1 minus root 2 this time. Right. So when you plug it into x squared, let's go ahead and evaluate x squared. First, it's going to be 3 minus 2 root 2, which is the conjugate. And then x squared plus 1 over x squared is just going to be 3 minus 2 root 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 2 root 2. And again, this is going to be the same. And the other one is just going to be the conjugate. So the conjugate and the reciprocal are the same because it is um, its norm is 1. Or I don't know how to express this. 9 minus 8 is 1. That's why, okay? They cancel out, and we end up with the same answer. Again, x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 6. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So again, we're given x squared minus 2x equals 1. And of course, if you wanted to use the quadratic formula, you could. You'll get the same x values, so on and so forth. Now, I can probably think of a third method. Let's see. Uh, anyways, so we're supposed to evaluate this, and I'm going to do the following. Instead of uh, evaluating the x value, numerical value, let's try to get to this in a faster way, like without finding the value of x. How can I do that? So I'm going to manipulate this a little bit. Let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides and add 2x. In other words, switch these around. And then divide both sides by x. Now, we're doing this because this is going to give us x minus 1 over x equals 2. Obviously, x equals 0 does not satisfy the original equation, so we're allowed to divide by x, which can't be 0 anyways. And now I have this, and I'm supposed to evaluate this. Look at the problem from a different angle, and it's going to become a lot easier, don't you think? Now, what, what I need to do is just square both sides, and I'll get the answer. If you square this expression, which is special, x squared minus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1 over x squared equals 4. These two terms cancel out. We get x squared plus 1 over x squared 
minus 2 equals 4, which means x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 6. And that happens to be the answer. Like before, right? Great. So what could be a third approach for this problem? I'm just thinking we could probably isolate x squared. And then in this expression, we could just replace x squared with 2x plus 1. And then make a common denominator. You're going to get x squared again. And then it's going to give you the answer at the end. Let me know if this works or if there's any other method that you think can work. Please let us know in the comment section down below. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and don't forget to check out the videos on A plus B. We're done with the lecture videos, and now we're going to start problem solving. Bye.